Faraday's ice pail experiment. In Faraday's ice pail experiment will only show that there is no charge residing inside the hollow conductor. It's Kisembo Academy and thanks for tuning in. This is the gold leaf electroscope. It has got a cup, a brass cup, a brass rod, a brass plate, a gold leaf, a metal casing and an insulator there. This is the apparatus. Now to begin with the experiment, remember we said that we are carrying out this experiment to show that no charge resides inside the hollow conductor. So sphere B is put inside an ice pail, but while we put this sphere B inside this ice pail, we do not allow this sphere to touch the walls. We just leave it hanging. So now when we put this sphere and we leave it hanging in space, what exactly happens? Because this is a sphere that is positively charged, and then it is being this setup is put on a gold leaf electroscope that is also positively charged. So what exactly happens when this sphere is in here? Now sphere B being positively charged is going to induce a negative charge around. Now this negative charge that has been induced inside the ice pail as a result of this positive charge is also going to be to induce a positive charge outside the ice pail. Of course it's definitely it can't induce a negative charge it definitely has to induce the opposite charge. So the negative charge outside inside the ice pail induces a positive charge outside the ice pail. So outside the ice pail we have a positive charge that is induced all over. So now because of this positive charge that is induced outside the ice pail this positive charge is going to attract electrons or negative charges from down here and so negative charges are going to be attracted from the gold leaf and they are going to come and concentrate more here on the cup like you like as it is shown so since uh, electrons have been attracted or negative charges have been attracted to up there it means that you're going to have more positive charges down here and so because you're having more positive charges on the brass place and at the gold leaf, this divergence will increase further. Why does it increase further? Because now the magnitude of the positive charges has increased. Remember, the laws of electrostatics state that like charges will repel. That's why they repel. But if these were unlike, they would attract. So that the divergence will increase. So now when this divergence increases, it simply shows that the charge behind or outside this ice pail is actually the same as the charge that is on the electroscope which is positive. We now let sphere B to touch the walls of the ice pail. When we let sphere B to touch on the walls of the ice pail and then we later remove this sphere and we test for the charge, we will find that there is no more charge on sphere B. Initially we had put it in when it were positively charged but when we let this sphere B to touch when we let it touch the walls of the ice pail, the, then we remove it and test for the charge on B. We will find that B does not have any charge. Now why does that happen? It's no longer having a charge but the divergence of the ice, of the gold leaf is still remaining the same. So the question is that why is it that sphere B, which was initially charged, is no longer charged? And the only way you can explain this is that this is because when the sphere was allowed to touch the inside of the ice pail, the inducing charge outside the sphere, this inducing charge, the inducing charge outside the sphere was neutralized by the induced charge inside the pail. This shows that the inducing charge outside the sphere and the induced charge inside the pail are equal in magnitude. Therefore, this proves to show that no charge resides inside the hollow conductor. And that's it for Faraday's ice pail experiment. Please do not forget to comment below or hit that like button. Someone out there might like to watch this tutorial, don't forget to share. Otherwise, for more videos, simply subscribe to this channel. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anold Ranga Kuramia.